Welcome back. I'm MTG Joe. Theros Beyond Death Spoilers are here. So we're going to do some initial brews, kind of some deck lists that I want to try out when the set comes out. Uh, so one of the newer mechanics, or sorry, returning mechanics is Devotion. So Devotion basically looks at the amount of uh, colors in the casting cost of your spells. Uh, and there's kind of two major payoffs in the deck that care about Devotion. Uh, you have Heliod, Sun Crown Champion. It's one of the gods. It's an indestructible enchantment unless you have five or more devotion. Uh, whenever you gain life, you put a 1 1 counter on target creature enchantment you control. And then for two mana, you can give creatures lifelink. Then there's also Reverend Hoplite. Basically, uh, this version, uh, like Mono White's uh, Grey Merchant, in a sense. When it enters the battlefield, you count your devotion, you get that many 1 1 White Soldiers. Uh, so there's kind of like a life gain sub theme to it. Uh, go wide kind of weenies effect. Uh, Giant Killer is basically a removal spell for like questing beasts, any of the big things uh, in like green or like basically big creatures with the upside of it being a creature on its own. And then it can tap down creatures so we can get blockers of the way to attack through. Uh, some prioritization to evasion. Uh, I do have Healer's Hawk, which is flying lifelink uh, that can, once we put a bunch of counters on it, can smash into the opponent. Uh, Daxos Blessed by the Sun is one of the new cards. It's uh, two mana, two X. X is, so the toughness is equal to your devotion to white. Uh, whenever another creature you control enters the battlefield or dies, you gain a life. So this effect is usually referred to as Soul Sisters. Um, three of Tithe Takers, not sure how many counters will be going around, but it kind of plays like a taxing effect on your opponent. Uh, it also gives you another body on the backside with flying, so it kind of plays around board wipes as well. Um, there's the two mana, two pips, uh, two, three flyer that turns off Nisa lands, but it's kind of lackluster. I like Tithe Taker's effect of slowing down your opponent. Uh, two of Banishing Lights. This is a card that was reprinted. Basically, uh, exiles any non-land permanent on your opponent's field. Also has the Devotion. Heliod, as I mentioned. There's three of Linden, the Steadfast Queens. Uh, three, importantly, three pips. Uh, three mana, three three vigilance. Whenever a white creature you control attacks, you gain a life. All those life gain triggers come off. Same with Daxos, that would trigger Heliod, and then you put counters on your whole squad. Uh, similar to the Daxos, uh, only three of because it's legendary. So this is base white predominantly with a slight black splash. Uh, one of the major kind of gaps I see in this deck is you can dump your hand. You don't really have a way of refilling. If you get board wiped, you'll probably lose. Um, so I've added in some Midnight Reapers. You're gaining a lot of life. Let's use that life to draw cards. Um, so that's one there. Uh, I have one of the new Elspeth. Um, I don't want to go overboard. There seems to be a lot of ways to deal with the graveyard. And on its own, it's not as powerful as some of the other effects. Um, so it's basically a buff to the team, create some tokens. Uh, we can escape it back later in the game. Might be better, so we'll see how it is. Uh, I have four Okami Ranger. Uh, this is another adventure card, so for 4 mana you get two one ones, and then you get a 4 mana 2-2, two -two, but more importantly it's just like an anthem effect for the team. You can tap it to make your stuff bigger. It's also 4 devotion added. So this alone could turn on Heliod, uh, which is pretty cool. 2 of Sorens, another card that we're splashing in block, uh, gives our team lifelink, which then triggers and all the other effects that we mentioned. Also can ping to trigger the life gain trigger, and uh, it allows us to reanimate stuff. So if stuff gets killed, we can always bring it back from the graveyard. Uh, if we kind of plus this up, we can get loops where we can keep bringing back Reverend Hoplite. The mana base wise, two white castles, uh, one castle locked Wayne. Uh, part of the reason I'm playing a little bit more black is to activate this castle. Uh, another way we're getting a lot of life, refill our hand. It just comes in uh, and then just your temples in that case there. Sideboard wise, I got a couple of the sparks, uh, devote decrees, Noxious Grasps, Revoke Existence is a new card, or a reprint, uh, Exile Artifact or Enchantment, uh, can be good as well with the gods, so you can exile their gods. Uh, two Gideons versus Control, Akaya if we need the life gain, Kuranos, uh, Hound of Aethros, uh, turns off life, ga uh, sorry, it's a Vigilance Menace Lifelinker, a lot of stats there. Uh, turns off Cat Oven and they can't play spells out of their graveyard, so it turns off the escape mechanic as well. Um, breakable formation versus control and a command the dread horde against kind of the grindy mirrors we're getting so much life let's bring back our whole team after it dies um, so really blacks here as just card advantage and removal to kind of shore up some of the uh, weaknesses if you would of mono white 
depending how the meta shapes up, you can always tailor the sideboard. You can put stuff like Kaya's Wrath in. If you want to kind of play more grindy, you can play Command the Dreadhorde main uh, with all the life gain to kind of bring you back, kind of like the old four-color command decks. Um, so that's pretty much it. Uh, let me know what you think. If I have any oversights, just throwing this together. Uh, there's a lot of cards to put to, so this is the first draft. I haven't really played with it, so obviously there's some uh, changes that could probably go there. I do have a Mono Black Devotion coming up, as well as a Gruel Control deck. Uh, so kind of some expected decks and kind of some brews. If there is anything you'd like to see, you can do a couple of these quick deck decks as well. Uh, do let me know, and thanks for watching.